there is a very simple way to cheat the drop. You measure with a point of reference, and then you hash it. This is called a test shot. You use a point of reference, horizontal, and you measure the distance of the drop of the bullet. Snipers use it all the time. I suggest the very first three to be very recognizable. The first three levels to measure the drop. And you can make it as, as long as you want. <clears throat> Let me show you. Obviously, if a shot is very close, you don't need to measure. Like, this is unnecessary for a sniper. <clears throat> but if you don't use an horizontal reference, I can show you. It's very hard to tell where where to measure the bullet, and then you miss. But if you use an horizontal reference, then it's easy. This is, this is used in the army. It's called a test shot, as I said. And you don't have to measure every single time. For example, if you miss, you can try to shoot again if you remember the distance. <clears throat> and if you don't have a measurement long enough, you can try to eyeball it, but it's not very easy. I tried multiple times here, and I was always missing. And as soon as I drew the, the crosser, I went back. I I headshot immediately one attempt. I'm on my couch. My aim is super bad, and I still get consistent headshots when I have the crosser. And he, even the the glass is broken. I'm actually doing this with math. I know it's an exponential fu function with a um, amplifier multiplied by an integer. And uh, you can check it on Patreon. It'll be out soon, but this free version is honestly better, in my opinion. Or if you, if you want to chill. I mean, you, you, maybe you don't want to do a test shot in to, and, give, uh, and make your enemy aware. So maybe it's not better, but it's definitely easier to use. Well, GG's.